pressure measurement using board and tube gauge. Let us see the principle of board and tube gauge. If a tube having oval cross section is subjected to pressure, its cross section tends to change from oval to circular. Okay, see, this is the original cross section of the tube that is A A cross section at this A A. Okay, now when this tube will be subjected to pressure, it will tend to uncoil as shown in the figure. Okay, we will see this in the further slides. Let us see the construction. Bore and tube gauge consists of a circular tube. This circular tube. One end of the tube is fixed. This is the fixed end. while other end is free to undergo elastic deformation under effect of applied pressure. So pressure will be applied from here and as the pressure will be applied this tube will undergo the deformation along this dotted line. Okay. This is the actual working mechanism of the board and tube gauge. Okay. Let us see its working. As the pressure is applied at a fixed end, free end undergoes deformation. This is the fixed end where pressure will be applied. Now this end is actually a free end but it is closed. As it is closed, so what will happen that the fluid pressure will act over this end. Now this tube being made of elastic material will tend to uncoil that is if this is circular it will try to become straight slowly and steadily along this dotted lines okay as the pressure will increase this will slowly and steadily uncoil like this this is when a pressure increases by a bit then when a pressure is further increased it will further move like this okay so now as you can see the free end is attached to the link which is further added to this sector sector is further matched with this pinion and on pinion a pointer is mounted so what happens is this movement in this the movement of this free end in upward direction is transferred to the link which further transfer is to sector now this sector as it is mesh, meshed with this pinion so what happens this movement of this free end is finally transferred to this pinion and pinion undergoes rotation and as pointer is mounted on this pinion so what happens is pointer also undergoes deflection now there is one calibrated scale over here like this okay there is one calibrated scale now there is there are number of markings over here like it is pre calibrated and consists of readings of different pressure now the pointer will indicate the pressure okay this was the working principle of warrant tube gauge warrant tube gauge is a mm, used for me measuring relatively uh, high pressures now let us see advantages and disadvantages it has less cost simple design yes it can be constructed quite easily good accuracy except at low pressures as i mentioned it is used for measuring high pressure yeah it has a very high pressure range and yes it can be easily coupled with electrical devices like lvdt now what are the disadvantages it is susceptible to shock and vibration yes if it is subjected to any kind of shock and vibration it may be create a problem for uh, further reading and may get error in it uh, gauges are subjected to hysteresis yes see 
uh, that bodin tube gauge being made up of that elastic material so over the time what happens is uh, frequently it becomes it is subjected to deformation again compression again deformation like that so there will be some permanent change in this elastic material which may lead to error so these are the two pr primary disadvantages of using the bodin tube gauge okay thank you